Well, last week I painted the front of my old garage. Looks pretty snazzy, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not, uh, it's not dry enough to cut hay today, so uh, today I'm taking care of some other uh, repair and maintenance. I'm uh, working on the 1086 today. Yeah, I'm still uh, still threatening to sell this tractor. Uh, I'm starting to get a little more serious about it. There's a couple of things I've been working on. Uh, the This tractor has never shifted really well. It's always been kind of grindy and uh, yeah, I knew I needed to uh, knew I needed to improve that before I uh, before I go to sell it. So uh, after after adjusting the clutch and the dump valve and the uh, transmission brake and not getting much uh, much for good results, I uh, I did put a new transmission brake uh, arm down in the bottom of this thing. It's you know they're not expensive and it wasn't a bad job and I got everything all adjusted up and now once this thing is warmed up it shifts beautifully, uh, much much better than it ever did. It, actually better than the 1486, which is uh, which has always been fine, but. Uh, the one issue I still have uh, in the mornings when this thing is cold, uh, it, the it still uh, it still grinds when you try and put it into gear. The transmission brake doesn't stop the transmission from turning, and I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I guess the best theory I have right now is that the uh, the clutch and uh, flywheel and pressure plate has got uh, some kind of little gunk on it, a little gunky, uh, and it's. Uh, it creates enough friction that it keeps turning the transmission when it's warm. But uh, yeah, I had this thing out uh, oh, a couple days ago, running it around in the morning, and uh, once I got it uh, once I got it warmed up, it shift gr shifted great. Uh, I jumped on it a couple hours after I uh, later in the day, and it started it up, and it still was shifting great. But uh, yeah, first thing in the morning, it's still uh, it's still a little grindy. So. Yeah, PA Farms. If you've got any insight into that, I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, I guess I'm, I guess uh, when I have it uh, for sale, I just have to start it up every morning and warm it up. But uh, yeah, the other thing I need to do is the uh, the starter on this thing. The starter drive has always sounded a little bit grindy, and uh, yesterday for the first time ever, it didn't catch right away. The first time I hit the key, it uh, it. Uh, the starter drive didn't catch the first time it's ever happened but like i said it sounded kind of kind of rattly for a while now so i'm about to take the starter out of this thing and uh i've got the floor out of the cab and there it is right there the little critter uh of course i've got the uh the ground cables off the batteries right now that was the first thing i did so uh now i've got to uh reach the bolts up there and uh, I take the take all the uh, take all the wires off it uh, see if I can get the right combination of sockets and extensions and swivels and get those bolts unbolted and uh, get this big heavy critter out of there and uh, take the starter drive off and uh, see what's going on with that well we've got it out after reading some of the posts on some uh, some internet boards I was expecting it to be uh, a little bit worse job than it was uh, I guess I would only rate the pain in the ass factor on this as a medium so far but uh, of course of course I don't have it back in yet but uh, the flywheel on the tractor doesn't look too bad but uh, yeah the starter drive is definitely shot so we'll uh, we'll pick up another one and put this baby back together all right, I've got my shiny new starter drive here. Uh, the UPS man just dropped this off about a half hour ago. I got this from uh, Allstate Ag Parts. I order a lot of stuff from them because they're uh, I've always gotten pretty good service from them, and uh, they're relatively close, being in Iowa. So usually it only takes a couple of days to get the to get things. So uh, that's my little plug for Allstate uh, Ag Parts, but. Uh, Okay, time to pull the nose off this thing and get the starter drive switched. 
And just to confirm that the, uh, the old starter drive here is shot, the, uh, this one, of course, like it's supposed to, will, uh, will rotate one way. This one is locked up. It's frozen. So, yeah, that's probably probably why this one was uh, was making funky noises. So, it should work pretty good when, you get, when we get it together here. Well, I have uh, run into one little hiccup. Uh, I've got the two starter drives here, and as you can see, the uh, the overriding clutch in the new one is a little bit deeper than the one in the old one here. Uh, they're all the same. The overall length is uh, is the same. Uh, the diameter here is all the same, but this one is just a little bit deeper. And of course, on this starter, the uh, the back side of this nose is a, is a cast piece and the starter drive has to go in like this and uh, it's just thick enough that it doesn't quite want to go in there so I think what I'm going to have to do is take the uh, hand grinder and just uh, trim this uh, nose here a little bit so I can uh, get a little more clearance so uh, in case anyone ever runs into that with the uh, replacement starter drive otherwise it uh, Everything seems like it should work, but a ah, little bit of trimming looks like it needs to be done. All right, we've got the starter all buttoned up. I've got the new starter drive in there. I ended up having to trim trim this a little bit with the grinder, not too bad enough to get it uh, get it, to get it in there. So, ah, um, nothing to do now but put it in the tractor. But uh, it's starting to get dark and. Uh, kind of rumbly and thundering. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's getting ready to uh, <laughs> to rain here pretty soon. So uh, it's getting late in the day, so I think I'm gonna head for the house and uh, put this in the tractor uh, on a new day. All right, it's morning, it's relatively dry. I've got plenty of coffee. So let's get this starter bolted back in. All right, we've got the starter bolted back in. Yeah, it took about 15 minutes. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, like I've said before, I, I would put the pain in the ass uh, scale at about a medium on this. The bolt on the left side there was kind of a bugger to start, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, just from my experience, what I found, I've got one of these, uh, I have some of these ex uh, extensions that let the socket swivel a little bit on the end and uh, that turned out to be the perfect tool for uh, for these starter bolts so well let's uh, let's give it a try and see what it sounds like now turn the fan off here oh yeah that's much better the, uh, <laughs> the old starter drive, I think because the overriding clutch on the starter drive was locked up, the, the old starter drive, uh, it, when you started it up, it sounded kind of rattly, but uh, that's that has completely gone away, so good deal. We'll uh, finish buttoning this up and uh, be done with this job, so until next time, have a good day.